Hey everybody, what's up? Gary Simon here. So this is day three of the seven days, seven designs challenge that I started a few days ago. And once again, we're going to be doing three different things in this order. First, we're going to introduce today's brand new design-based challenge. Second, we will choose a winner from the participants from yesterday's challenge. And also from yesterday's challenge, we will review some of the entries that we received. And we received 83 of them. The first day we received 88. So first, let's go ahead and introduce today's challenge. Um, if you want to participate, you have a 10 hour window from the time I upload this video at 9.30 a.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time, uh, which means 7.30 p.m. In, uh, Eastern Standard Time. You have uh, the ability to submit an entry and all the requirements and instructions for submitting are down below. You do it through Twitter, you tag me, you use a specific, specific hashtag. It's all down there. Just look at that. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to the desktop. And what we have here for today's challenge, what is this pudgy looking dude doing? <laughs> well, I recently I bought an iPad Pro I with and I also got the Affinity app. It's a vector-based app, and I've really been wanting to get into UI um, illustration-based design, like the type of illustrations you might see on user interfaces. So I designed this, or drew it rather, from scratch, and I figured, you know what? Maybe we'll make this the basis of the challenge. You have to integrate this illustration into the top portion or the hero section as it's sometimes called of a landing page for some sort of fictional service for whatever purpose you wish. Here are the requirements. The requirements are a nav bar with a logo. So, you know, the logo traditionally goes over here. Um, navigation with the, you know maybe like four to five different links up here. Um, also a headline. So, you know, some good strong um, ad copy for a headline, a few words, a sub headline. Um, again, when you're placing these items, pay attention to visual hierarchy. Also call to action button of some sort, all right? And then whatever else you wish. So you can make this longer and add more content, but you don't have to as a part of a fictional landing page. You can change these colors if you wish, although good luck because if you change one color here, it's gonna throw off everything else and you might have a tough time. So you don't have to change colors. Um, you can put you can position this wherever you think it should go and you could scale it however large you wish. So that's completely up to you. Um, and just have fun with it basically. So I, the goal is, is to create a cohesive layout uh, that really fits well with this illustration and makes sense, all right? So that is the uh, very quick challenge. So I'll have a um, the vector um, SVG file and also I will link this as well. I'll share this URL on this prototype, but you can use Figma if you wish. You don't have to use XD. All right, so let's get to the second portion of choosing the winner from the participants of yesterday's challenge. Who will win a free copy of my Scrimba? Let's get over here. UI Design Bootcamp, which are currently featuring right now. So it is 100 lessons, just over nine hours uh, of instructionals that's gonna show you exactly how to design awesome user interfaces. So definitely check that out. It's usually 99, it's 39 bucks right now. Um, so this person, whoever wins, is going to get access to that course for free. And we have 83 entries right here. So let's see who it is. All right, so it's SU Andrew K. This dude right here is the winner. All right, and also let's check out their entry. We're gonna check out some other entries, but let's just check this one out. Oops, I copied both of those lines by accident. I did that yesterday too. All right, right here. All right, this is this person's entry. It says, yo, what's up? All right, so if I had to quickly go ahead and review this, I would say it is lacking the top nav bar. That I think that was a requirement, some sort of uh, top bar at the top. Um, in terms of alignment, unfortunately, we see it says, yo, what's up down here? There's a lot of space between the actual username and the person's type. That should be up here, maintaining equal white space all around. Um, outside of that, I would say that's probably the primary uh, concerns that I would have with this one. So anyhow, I would be contacting you, Andrew, through a message on Twitter, um, and I'll need your email. All right, so let's go ahead to the actual reviews portion, which is the third step of all of this craziness right here. 
Let's check out the, uh, just, you know, by the way, if I didn't choose yours to feature here, the, you know, I had 83. I don't have enough time to go through all of them. I just picked these just because I thought some of them were good. Some of them had um, things that I thought I could definitely give quick advice to. So it doesn't mean I didn't like yours or whatever. Um, I just don't have enough time. So let's check out the first one. So let's click uh, here. I actually kind of like this. Um, pretty solid overall. I would say it's a little bit funky alignment right here. You have the time really close to the type right here. So I'd probably move this up closer possibly to the username and move this portion, the time portion down. I like the colors though. I like the icons. Everything here is pretty solid. All right, next up. Here's another one with a kind of similar approach. We have our tap bar at the top, um, a very light gray area where we have this encased in white, which is a very common pattern for these type of modals. Um, but one thing that's a problem is what I would say is uh, visual hierarchy. Right here, the only difference between the person's, the, the type-based portion of the person's name and the, their message is the color. So usually you would want to reinforce you know, that hierarchy or the difference between those two elements through some other way. So I would probably make the professor, you know, the actual username bold as well. Um, that way it separates these out further. And also there's probably not enough white space between the person's name and their avatar. It's kind of really clumped together right there. So just a couple things to look out for in that regard. All right, next up, let me go back to all these. I was checking these out now initially, and I forgot to get back to the very beginning ones. Maybe home is what I should click. Um, so let's check this one out. Um, let's see what we can click. We can click here. Tap to speak. Pretty cool. One problem with this, though, is a lack of white space. We have a decent amount, a pretty good amount, between the right of the M and the end of this container. But then look over here where it says the person's name and to the left of the container, there's about half the distance here. Those minor, tiny, minute details actually make a difference. Uh, where it says me very close to this edge, not enough white space for sure. So you definitely want to fix that sort of thing up. Next up, um, again, here I am. There's a lot of stuff happening here. Jeez, what is happening? Am I just scrolling through all these? Let's click that. There we go. I thought this one was pretty crazy in terms of the uh, the prototyping that went <laughs> that was involved in it. So let's click here. I mean, they really spent a lot of time going on through here. I thought it was pretty cool though. Um, unfortunately, it was, it was a time-based animation, so I didn't get a, a, a good chance to sit there and kind of look what was happening in the main UI design. Uh, I'll just not touch anything, I guess. Um, this is pretty good. There's a lot of unused space right here. So if this were in a real phone in your hand, this would probably be, have to be real tiny text to accommodate for all this white space here. Realistically, these things would probably have to be a little bit larger um, to be able to be quite visible on a phone. But other than that, all the colors here and the subtleties are pretty good. Next up, um, again, we're gonna be going back a million times. All right, so just a simple now this one, unfortunately, the way this was um, animated, it was pushing down this bar. So now we have to scroll down. That's not, that's not the ideal way to approach it, but this is just a real simple yet effective approach. There was nothing really extremely wrong with this uh, in terms of UI design fundamentals. Simple, it works, very good. Next up, let's check this one out. And you know, simple. Simple nav bar. I'm not sure about why the middle portion of that hamburger menu is, um, you know, less there. I would probably like to see that be completely black, all three of them. That way, it really stands out as a menu. Other than that, though, pretty simple here. Pretty, pretty decent. So let's check this one out. We'll click uh, play. Here we go. Sending. Nice little bar here. Um, different take on it. Um, again. Ultra simple, nothing really wrong here. Good icons, good stuff. What else? <laughs> this one I thought was interesting. It was funny. Um, Brad Trasby. I wonder who that could be. I mean, who is this guy right here? Uh, and then Dev Ed, hi, why do you make fun of me in your videos? Because I like you. Well, Dev Ed might, must like me too because I, he actually, at the beginning of one of his videos, he put me popping out of a toaster. I have no, I have no reason, I have no clue why, he just did it, but anyways. 
Uh, this I actually like the design of this though. I like the this this sort of illustration based. Um, vector-based UI that's in the, uh, or not a UI, but the background, which is a very subtle sort of um, watermark in the background. And it works well. I like the fact that you can clearly see that, um, you know, you're this person and then that's that person with the simple borders to the right. So this is really effective, probably one of the most effective in terms of designs that we've, uh, that I've had. Next up here, who is this? Let's, uh, let's go back. There's a lot of stuff happening here, apparently, I think. Okay, I'm not able, oh, there we go. All right, pretty cool. There was some other stuff happening here. Oh, right here, even the emoticons and all that stuff. Yeah, very nice. In terms of uh, the actual UI design, it's not bad. I like the colors, um, the sort of desaturated dark blue. Uh, it's one of my favorite UI colors. Um, with the modals being slightly lighter. And then everything just has good contrast. You can still see they're in their own containers, which helps structure the layout. Um, so yeah, pretty solid right here. Next up, let's see here. All right, um, let's go back. All right, Olamai, okay, I'm not even gonna try to say that name. I don't wanna butcher it. Okay, go ahead and hit, um... one thing I, I, I when it comes to this type of thing, like in the previous example, they did it well because what I prefer to do, so it doesn't look so bo boxy when it comes to this type of thing, is to not create like a high contrast modal with the, in, in, in relation to the background because it really makes it real boxy. I kind of like the approach of taking it, uh, this, this color and then slightly lightening it for the modal and then making this, like the actual type white uh, and so that there's good contrast. It's, in terms of UI design fundamentals, the contrast is all there. People can easily read it, but I think it just makes for a blocky sort of layout. Next up, all right, let's see here. This is a desktop or kind of like a tablet version, but I figured I would show this one anyway. Can I make this smaller? No. Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure how far we go back here. There's a lot of prototyping happening. There we go. I think this is it. So click here. Congratulations. You're the winner of today's challenge. <laughs> Doesn't that person wish? I think you got the wrong person. Not sure what else is happening here. I think this is all just time-based um, XD animations. April Fools. That's funny. I, I like the colors though. You know, like I was saying, when it comes to structuring the different parts of the UI, only being slightly different in terms of the shade of the same hue. Um, Something that I like a lot. You'll see that like in Discord as well. So awesome. Next up. And this is just a real simple example. It's effective. There's nothing too crazy happening here. Um, yeah, pretty solid. We're almost done with this, by the way. There we go. Let's get this a little bit bigger. Um, let's hit, let's go back. Sorry, I should have rewound all these. There we go. So here's it is. We're going to click this. This person actually put in the keyboard. Let's hit send. This is pretty solid. The colors are all working well. Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, nice top bar. This is uh, obviously recognizable as being the area that you send information from. Very, very good. This one I concluded because uh, this is a big example of a lack of contrast. We had a lot of those in yesterday's um, uh, competition, but unfortunately, we still have it here. You want to increase the contrast. It's so hard to read like this one where it says, what can I say, Jonathan? You can't hardly read that. So if you're going to use pastels backgrounds, um, your, your type on top of it needs to be maximum contrast as much as possible. All right. Next up, I like the colors here. Let's click on this, click send. So yeah, this is more of a unique sort of interesting layout, especially having designed for two screens. Works quite well. I'm not too sure about the, the background. Um, there's a photograph in the back there. Either way though, pretty solid overall. Two more. All right, so this one right here, Kind of has like that, what I immediately think of Twitch 
I never use Twitch, but I think they have this sort of aesthetic on, on the modals at least, or maybe the logo or something. That's what I was thinking about. If I hit send here, the one thing I just kind of don't like about that, being that these modals are so encased in the white, um, a lot of emphasis and attention is drawn to those rather than the actual type based elements right here. And it is quite boxy looking because of it. So you can still do this sort of thing, but just make it almost a slightly lighter color than the background. I think maybe a little bit, a little bit more effective. And then finally, here's last but not least. Oh my God, there's 15. Let's go back to home. I think I included this because there was a lot of crazy UI animations here. So let's click on some of these. So just an interesting, this is a, a pretty unique, probably one of the most unique takes on it. Uh, there are some issues in terms of the UI design. Kind of really hard to see where it says 10.30 p.m. Um, so we definitely change that. Probably ha helpful to have a little bit more of a semblance of a layout and structured area with like a, an actual bar up here because it is quite open-ended. But other than that, pretty good. All right, everybody. So hopefully you enjoyed that and hopefully you guys participate in today's challenge. Again, you have like roughly 10 hours to submit it. All the instructions for submission are down below and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.